Jason Gardner and Gemma Collins' feud on Dancing on Ice 2019 has dominated headlines this series. From fears Gemma will quit Dancing on Ice to claims Jason sold a story on the celebrity skater, the pair's drama off the ice has garnered more attention than Gemma's routines on it. With the fourth live show on ITV around the corner, Dancing on Ice fans are wondering whether or not Jason will have to apologize to Gemma for comments made on the show. So will Jason issue an apology to Gemma? Will Jason Gardner have to apologize to Gemma Collins? Jason Gardner has not issued an apology to Gemma Collins following their Dancing on Ice spat. Gemma shocked viewers on the third live show of the series by accusing Jason of selling stories on her, a claim which was later proven to be false by The Sun. Dancing on Ice 2019 fans also witnessed Jason tell the reality star she was just a brat, that fans aren't expecting any big lifts from her, and that her outburst didn't help her cause. Following Jason's feedback, Dancing on Ice fans quickly took to social media demanding he apologize to the reality star. One Twitter use wrote, I don't care what anyone says, Jason was out of line for bringing Gemma's weight into the equation. So unfair to say someone can't do things like fancy tricks because of their weight, disgusting behavior and he should apologize for fat shaming live on TV. A second tweeted, at Dancing on Ice Jason Gardner, your comment to Gemma Collins was totally out of order. You should apologize immediately. While a third echoed, Jason's comment regarding Anna Nicole Smith was disgusting, that comment was in poor taste and he should apologize. Jason hasn't directly issued an apology to the Toei star, he has returned to social media to address the aftermath of the public row. What do Holy Willoughby and Philip Schofield really think of Gemma Collins? Two days after the live show in question, Jason said on Twitter, back in the real world dot 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 thank you so much for the outpouring of love and support I've received. I am overwhelmed by it. Faith has been restored as we stand united against such appalling behavior. Hash honest judge hash keep it real hash truth prevails. While Gemma also hasn't issued an apology to Jason for her comments, her skating partner Matt Evers has issued an apology to Jason. The apology came after Matt spoke with Heart FM on Monday, January 21, and said, she, Gemma, did take Jason's comment on board, in regards to the skating, but when it went into the whole, don't sell stories on me, I just was like, oh. I know that's the truth, and that's how you feel, but you have to be careful sometimes when you live on air. However, the 42-year-old quickly retracted his statement, taking to Twitter to write, always own up to your mistakes. I just want to say sorry to Jason as today on Heart FM I intimated he sold stories to a newspaper. I totally got my wires crossed and I apologize. It's been one hell of a 24 hours. Express.co.uk has contacted ITV for comment regarding the pair's row. How much are Dancing on Ice 2019 contestants and skaters paid? Will Gemma Collins win Dancing on Ice 2019 question mark while Jason and his fellow judges scoring of Gemma has been relatively low so far this series, the GC remains popular with viewers, Gemma's popularity has led bookmakers to believe she will skate through to next week's live show and progress further in the contest. It's loose women panelist Sarah Khan who is favorite to face the boot in the next live show on Sunday, January 27, with odds of six-fourths from Coral, the book make us then have Greece's Diddy Con and former England cricketer Ryan side bottom as strong possibilities to lose the vote with the pair receiving odds of 3-1. Gemma, however, is a whopping 5-1 to be sent home this weekend, according to Coral. 
Watch Gemma Collins dancing on ice performance here the Gemma will actually win the entire contest is a bit too far a stretch with a number of bookmakers. Sky Bet, William Hill, and Bet Victor all have Gemma as a 33-1 outsider to lift the Dancing on Ice trophy come the end of the series. Me are tipping Love Island 2018 finalists Nelson and Strictly come Dancing heartthrob James Jordan as the two front runners this year. Whose girlfriend Megan Barton Hansen has also garnered attention for her feud with his skating partner Vanessa Bauer, is currently the joint favorite to win the contest with James. James and us have both been given odds of six fourths to emerge victorious by bookmakers Paddy Power, Bitfair, and Batway. Dancing on Ice continues every Sunday, on ITV, at 6 p.m.